Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh, first, before we start, I would like to say like and subscribe to my channel. You're going to see a red button to the right and like it. And uh, likes are free. Subscribe. And if you subscribe to my channel, we're going to talk about in investing. Um, this, this is a series that I'm doing. Um, this series is how you can invest into your 30s to retire wealthy and, and rich. And, and it helps because uh, I'm in my 30s. And so it helps to understand where to start. Uh, my last video that I did was how to uh, invest in your 20s to be able to retire uh, early and uh, it helps. So with this video, I'm, go I'm going to go over uh, how to organize your thoughts, how to sit down, uh, where to start. Uh, hopefully uh, in your 30s uh, now, uh, I know a lot of times, uh, a lot of times individuals are in the process of figuring out if moving away from renting uh, in an apartment to want to buy your first house. I know some individuals in their 30s, they're having children, if they have already have a head children, they're getting married, uh, they're cons consolidating assets. And this is right around the time where a lot of people are making more money and now trying to figure out, whew, I got over my 20s, I'm not broke anymore, I got more money. But I want to save a nest egg. Uh, how can I go about it and tackle this investing thing? Let me show you. Let me show you and, and, and uh, instruct you on how to go about this. The first thing how you go about it is you look at your debt, your debts. Uh, oh, for me, I have a video showing how to do a budget. You do a budget, you figure out how much money you spare money, net income that you have coming in into your household on a monthly basis, also on a bi-weekly bi basis to see how much money you can spare. Uh, I showed an example that, and I have an, another illustration that when you're in your 20s, uh, you can, all you have to do is invest roughly 200 to $210 per month. And because you are starting out so young, you don't have to invest uh, so much. But as us being in our 30s, we don't have that luxury. So if you, at this point, have been investing to your 401k, great. You've been getting that match, great. Now it's time to in increase uh, the urgency. It's time to figure out uh, what type of either ETFs, index funds, or stocks. Stick stick with that strategy and ride, ride out till it's time to, to uh, retire. But at, at this age, it's time we got to figure out uh, a game plan and uh, operate on that game plan. So figure out your, your debts first, your debts first, any high yields, a high percentage, knock those out. And then now we can figure out uh, how we want it to uh, invest our money. Again, right here in the uh, article shows that part, uh, participate in your company's 401k plan. And my last company at Curec, they match up to 8% dollar for dollar. If, whatever, if your company is giving out that free money where they're, they're, they say they're a match, whatever, Take, take that because that's free money. Also around this age, individuals are open up a Roth IRA. I'll go into more detail what a Roth IRA is in other, in other videos, but basically it's a vehicle where you put your money into like, like a 401k, where you are putting your money into this vehicle, you put in uh, stocks, ETS, uh, crypto, whatever in, into your, uh, your Roth IRA and you letting your money grow tax-free because the money that you're making at your job is taxed by the government. And then, so that money that we used from our, our wages, you could put it into the Roth IRA. And since it's already been taxed, you just let your money grow five, 10, 15, 20 years, and you got to amass a portfolio over $500,000, $600,000, $700,000. And if, if you really contributing contributing enough money, you can get up to a million dollars. So it helps. Also, another thing you sit down with you and your partner, or if you're single, just yourself. Hopefully by now you figure out how to do a emergency fund, start out with a thousand dollars. And then once you work from there, build, build up to it. Add a hundred, a extra hundred dollars into your emergency fund per month. Get that thousand dollars up to 5,000. Get that 5,000 up to 10,000. It helps to have an emergency fund because for me, for example, I have a house and things break down where it may be a refrigerator, it may be plumbing, it may be, you get into a car and you got a flat tire and, and, you, and you got nails in your tire and you need to get new tires and new tires may be $400. Uh, it helps until 
dip into the emergency fund where you don't have to deal with uh, dipping into the end of your finance or your day to day. And then most importantly, while we're here is to invest into more stocks, get risky, get risky, uh, invest into more stocks. But yes, uh, we're going to talk about invest more stocks. I'm going to go into details of ETFs for what you can invest into. Uh, we're going to divert uh, at this age. We're, uh, if you if you haven't been uh, investing, we're going to start investing. We're going to ramp it up. More, more risk. We're going to invest more, and then also we're going to diversify our our holdings. We're going you're going to look into the S P 500. You're going to look into the Nasdaq. Uh, we're also going to incorporate real estate into our portfolio to balance out our portfolio for more income. If you have enough money uh, to to buy that house, to buy commercial property, then do it. If you don't don't have that money, then don't feel bad. Invest into REITs. I have a video about REITs and uh, real estate investment trusts where you get real estate exposure, but you just you don't have the physical properties. If you look into uh, one of my videos, it will go into more detail of what REITs are and uh, let's go into detail of what things you can do to invest uh, in your 30s to uh, propel for you to be well off uh, when you retire and to be rich and wealthy. One is the ETF VU. It's, it's the S&P 500. It's the top 500 companies in the United States. It costs $356.44 a share. Uh, this is my bread and butter to advise what I advise individuals were like how, how do I get started and, and like invest into the market and to, into VU it's the S&P 500 it holds this it holds Apple Microsoft Amazon Google Berkshire uh, Hathaway Tesla United uh, Health and basically uh, reason why people invest into uh, ETFs because it's, it's a basket of stocks so the S and P five hundred. When you when you invest into VU, you are investing into five hundred companies. So if you if one company goes down, you don't you can rely on the other other companies to figure out it's going to do well. And whenever the times of a, a market crash or a recession like this, where it's like extremely rare days, it will really protect your your investment from going down so much. It may go down, but it won't go down as much as. A high, a high risk of just a growth stock or just regular stocks because we know that stocks are risky crypto is extremely risky so when you invest in just one singular stock risky but when you when you invest in ETS there are basket of stocks and so it hedges against uh market downturn and etc and so keep that in mind VU VOO it's the S&P 500 the top 500 companies and the next ETF that people look into is VTI, Vanguard's Total Stock Market ETF. And this ETF costs $194.13. And the reason why a lot of people like this over VU is because VTI is the whole entire, entire stock market. So you can't go wrong with betting on America, with our, our whole economy. VTI is our whole economy. So when we do good, you make money when we do bad you lose money but at the same time you're betting on the american uh economy and you can't go wrong and what's inside of VOO, it's the same thing that's inside what's what's inside of vti this is also what's inside of VOO. so that's why usually individuals either pick either or they either choose to invest into vti or VOO to get uh, market returns and in vti it's apple microsoft amazon apple Tesla, United Healthcare. And then usually what a lot of people do outside of uh, a market, the market ETF is the people want growth. And also while you're in your thirties, uh, if you've been in, uh, if you've been investing and you started, great, continue. If you haven't started, then the, the best route to go, uh, go to is a growth ETF. VUG is Vanguard's growth ETF. And what individuals tend to do is that they, they know that I'm not in my 20s no more. I'm not, now in my 30s. Now I need him. I, uh, now I need more growth. Now I need more returns. And as with that, 
uh, utilize a growth ETF. And within this growth ETF, as it says in the name, it has nothing but growth companies. It has Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Tesla, NVIDIA, Visa, uh, Visa Home Depot, and uh, MasterCard. And this uh, growth ETF, it costs $216 per share. And what people tend to do is that they just they, they'll buy a, a SP 500 fund or a DTI at the total market, and then they will buy uh, a growth a growth ETF, and then just leave it at that. Another ETF, what a lot of people invest into is QQQ. QQQ follows the the Nasdaq, and the, with the Nasdaq uh, with that index, it has uh, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon. Google, NVIDIA, Tesla, Facebook, Pepsi, and Broadcom, and, and other different uh, type of tech companies. QQQ costs $270.50, and typically what a lot of people do is that uh, QQQ uh, gives you a lot of more bang for, for, for your buck in terms of uh, market returns. Like, uses like double of the, the S&P 500, but as you know, if it's double in terms of returns, it's extremely risky because it has tech. Tech companies uh, on the day, on the good days, it's doing really great. But then on, on the bad days, you'll see that it's, it, it will be sliding a lot. And if you look like right now, I, I invest in QQU, I'm down roughly like 25% because of we're in a recession right now, but it's the, the best time to buy. Uh, so the, the best instruments to buy in your in your, in your your 30s, different type of ETFs is VU, VTI, VUG, and then QQQ. Now, if, uh, if you want to try to catch up and, and get even more uh, returns, uh, the best way to do it is to go about it is to invest into individual stocks. When you invest into in individual stocks, you're able to get more returns. But with more returns, is more risk. You can buy Apple at $130 a share. Over a five-year uh, annualized basis, it has produced a returns of over uh, 198%. A person can invest into Tesla over the last five years. Uh, if you used to invest five years ago and you put your money in Tesla, your money would have produced 421%, which means that if you do 420 divided by 72, that is what you would have gotten in terms of uh, how much your money would have doubled. Other stocks that people buy in terms of, uh, these are all uh, growth stocks. Amazon, which is at $89.74 right now. So if you have uh, about a hundred dollars, you you can spend a hundred dollars and buy a share of Amazon and then let it let it grow. Uh, another stock which is pretty popular since we are on YouTube is, is Google, and Google right now is also under a hundred dollars. So what, typically, uh, what people tend to do is that they will buy a market ETF like VU, VTI, VUG, and then if they want even more exposure, they will add like Apple or Tesla to their, their fund, and then they would just invest in that per month and then watch to see their money grow uh, drastically. Uh, and then also in your 30s, since you want to uh, consider uh, growing your money fast, a lot of times individuals also invest into uh, some dividend stocks to be able to help out with the bills. And so uh, I would say that since you are in your 30s and we are in our 30s, you still want something uh, between uh, two and 5%, but also is growing the dividend uh, also a lot quickly. So I would say like Comcast, American Tower, FedEx, Medtronic, what else? Lowe's, Centos, and these stocks right here, it helps with basically a, uh, a portfolio where uh, you're able to invest into these different stocks. It gives you income, it's going to grow, and you don't have to worry about uh, the, the stress of uh, bills. <laughs> but also your portfolio is, is, is also growing. Let me give you a couple examples of other stocks that will help out growing your portfolio while in your 30s. Another stock that will help out is Ultra Group. Johnson & Johnson, Verizon, we all know Verizon, right? Ring, ring, right? And then also uh, Pepsi. 
also went through an example uh, with you guys on uh, how to start out with a portfolio if, if you if you haven't been investing and you start out from from zero uh, if you just start out uh, from zero dollars or just one dollar and you and you contributing five hundred dollars per month on a monthly basis for 20 years because if you're 30 for 20 years you'll be 50 uh, and if you to invest into uh, VU, VTI, VUG or QQQ if you invest into QQQ or VUG the actual uh, interest rate will be a lot more than that. So we'll go through that. So by investing to VU, by investing to VU or uh, by investing to VU and VTI, you can get around a 10 to 12 percent annual interest rate. And then by starting out, by investing that $500 per month, which is roughly $250 per check, at, at this point, you, you can be able to invest $250 per check when you're 30 because you're essentially making more money. You are looking through your budget. You are trying to figure out the best way to make more money. And by doing that, you can uh, figure out through your budget to squeeze out $250 per check to invest into. You choose VU, VTI, and uh, watch the money grow. And then after uh, the 20 year period, as you see, boom, you have amassed a portfolio of $432,000. And then by that point, if you or your significant other, if you feel like you can invest more money with, your, with both of you guys' money combined, you can do it or just yourself. Because we know the older we get, the more we get promotions and we get bonuses and we get taxes, you can be able to increase even more. So imagine you, 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 you are contributing $250 per check and then you begin to make more money and then you want to in increase it to, let's say, $600. That that extra $100 difference moved it from $400-some thousand to $500,000. So the more money you'll be able to make, the more money you can be able to contribute per month to get you to your goal to making over, having a, a, over a $500,000 portfolio. And then lastly, what I, what I like to talk about is that also what people tend to do to amass more wealth in the, in the 30s is to invest into crypto. And two uh, famous cryptos that people invest to that's extremely risky. But if you have the extra money to do it, uh, people tend to dollar cost average and buy Bitcoin. Uh, uh, $50, $100 into, into Bitcoin per month. And then also people tend to buy $50 or uh, $100 of XRP here and there, just so you can have exposure to, to crypto. But overall, the, the best way to make uh, money and to invest your money into your 30, 30 so you can be uh, wealthy is what people tend to do is that they do a, com a combination of, you pick two ETFs, rather it's VU and VUG, a S&P 500, and then VUG, which is, is the growth, so that you you invest into the, the S and P 500, where you, you know that your money is going to be stable because it's spread out amongst 500 companies, and then you invest into v, VUG to get that growth component. Or what people tend to do is that uh, they may do VTI, which is the whole entire market. When the market goes up, you make money. When the market goes down, you lose money. But it, it's still your money is still diversified amongst 3,600 stocks with VTI. And then also what people tend to do is, is, is split and do half in VTI and half in QQQ because we know that going forward, tech is going to be king. Tech is going to grow. Microsoft is going to grow, steady grow. Uh, Tesla, Tesla is going to grow. Everything is going to, everything is going to continue to grow and, and, and get bigger. And so uh, invest into a, a total stock market ETF and then QQQ to, to get that NASDAQ tech exposure and then if you have uh, enough money then you can invest into single stocks like apple tesla or amazon if you have if you have enough money you don't have to and then you just pick pick a budget and you figure out if you could do only 250 dollars every uh, every two weeks do that and then split it and then just build upon that and then if you could do more when you get bonuses when you get commissions when you get uh, extra money and you get raises you get, you can increase increase them out and then buy that you see with this example, you see that by even contributing just a little bit, 
$600 monthly, which is uh, essentially $300 per check, $250 per check in, in a span of 20 years, your portfolio will grow. And then you can use that money to retire. And then also you invest into crypto as well. Just know that a lot of these uh, avenues, whether it's stocks and crypto, is extremely risky, but with high risk, it comes with high reward. And yeah, that's how you can invest your money into your 30s to retire wealthy. First, you start with a budget, figure out how much money you, uh, you got bringing in. Then you figure out what index funds or ETFs you want to, uh, want to invest in. Uh, the S&P 500, boom. The total stock market, VTI, a growth fund like VUG. The NASDAQ, which com comprises of all the, the tech stocks of, uh, of the United States which is a QQQ, uh, individual stocks like Apple, uh, Amazon. And honestly, only you can figure out your strategy and, and what you want to do with, with, between you and your family. I'm just laying out the different avenues of where, where, where you can go, the different stocks and the, the number of tickers, tickers you, you can um, produce. And ultimately, it's your choice of what you feel like. Because for me, for example, I like QQQ. I like Tesla. I like Apple. I have those in my portfolio and I let it grow. But you may not like Apple. You may not like Tesla. You may think that Apple or Tesla or Amazon is extremely too risky for individual stocks. And then you just may just want to just buy QQQ. Or you may just like, you know what? I'm just, hey, I'm new at this. I just want something simple. Just buy VU. If you want something simple, buy VU, buy VTI, put $250 uh, every two weeks, and then boom. If you could do $100 every two weeks, $250 per week, cool. If you want to make more money and to be able to in, in, increase the, the how much money you, you're, going to, you're going to be able to make in terms of uh, market returns, then, then invest more. But if you want to keep it simple, VU, VTI. If you if you want to you know get a little uh, you know if you want to get a little colorful, then add in a, a growth fund like VUG or QQQ. And then if you really want to get risky. Then you do it do Apple. 